Your beautiful website might be killing your conversions. There's one thing when you go online, you're gonna see a lot of B2B SaaS companies, you're gonna see a lot of, in general, kind of companies online having simple websites. Having websites which have really good content strategy, which have really good resource strategy, which have really good communication strategy, and they have some fun quirks here and there with animations, but none of them are really, really crazy. And there's a good enough reason for that. And that is because that just works. I mean, like I personally, I run Flow Ninja, like it's a digital agency that we run for the past six years. We worked with customers like Upwork, Checkout, and many other really well-known brands. And in that process, we always wanted to push that level of kind of like, let's say design to push the level of animations and everything like that, that we wanted to do kind of for those customers. But in the end, whenever we push that limit, we realize that we kill conversions a little bit. And all of the businesses in the end want to make money. They're not just kind of for show. So with time, we realized that there is a thin line between creating something creative and fun and killing conversions. So because of that, in this video, I'll be covering things you should consider when building your website so that you don't kill your conversions by making it too pretty. First thing, I mean, speed is everything. I'm using this laptop here. It's like the latest and greatest MacBook. When I have low battery, it starts lagging. And there are websites that I visit that start lagging like crazy because they have a lot of interactions and some websites which I cannot even load when this thing is a low battery. And on the other side, you also have people who don't have a really good internet connection. So by going really, really, really crazy with animations on your website, you might be killing a percentage of users who don't have enough battery on their devices or don't have a good stable internet connection at that point. And with that, you're losing revenue. So I strongly suggest keeping the bar for craziness of the websites up to a point where you can still express your brand, but you're, that you're not going too far to basically kill some of the people who would purchase from your brand. The next thing is that speed is a ranking factor. Technically, there are two different things. If uh, you have a website which is a little bit maybe uh, heavier on interactions and most of your customers are coming from the US where they have good internet connection, they have good devices, you might be still ranking really, really well and you might not have any problems with ranking. But on the other side, if you have the exact same website that's kind of global, which has people coming from everywhere and that website is loading slower in some countries, then that can be a determining factor because websites are graded based on like real experience from users. In the real world, the website is really slow, it takes a ton of time to load, it's gonna be killing your kind of like page experience and it's also gonna be killing your rankings. The next thing is that slow websites leak conversions. If you're exploring the website, you go to your page, you go to the solutions page, you go to industries, you go to pricing, you go to a lot of different places, like across the website as you're making your kind of buyer journey, like uh, uh, per person, like if you're exploring the website. And if the website is slow, you might just give up halfway through and go to the competitor, which can load up up to like two times faster than you. So with that, ensure that like all of your website pages are fast to not leak any conversions when people are exploring your website and going from a page to a page. And finally, ensure that you still add interactions in places where it can be fun to make the whole experience like that much better. I know that there are places like maybe on the airport when you need to go to a gate, which is like a layover of one hour, that's probably gonna be a gate which is really, really far away. So in the time of you walking, you're not gonna feel that you just walked for like 30 minutes to get to a different gate and everything is gonna feel really, really good in terms of the experience. And it can be the same with interactions. I mean, like you can add interactions in places where it's gonna enhance the user experience and where it's gonna make visiting your website that much more fun. And in the end, we as people like fun things and we like hidden gems. So we should not be limiting ourselves to not having any interactions, but we should also uh, think about to not go overboard to kind of spend that much time adding interactions and that in the end that kills our conversions. So with that, how are you adding interactions? I mean, like you can add GSAP, you can add Lottie animations, you can add uh, different third party scripts to ensure that everything runs smooth. Uh, you can add videos, et cetera, et cetera. I'd love to see examples of kind of which websites do you believe are doing a really good job on providing you like with really good interactions, but also on the other side are really good for conversions and are really easy to consume in the end. Leave a comment down below and if you have any questions about about how to build your website, feel free to schedule a call down below with our team and we'll be more than happy to help you out.